Hey there, gamers. Or should I say, PCS kids. Time to talk about stupid human tricks. Um, we're going through the stats meta curriculum. We are on, I believe this is day four. So we're talking about, normally what we'd end up doing is we collect some data today about can you do taco tongue, which is the, you know, roll your tongue, or can you do the evil eyebrow where you raise one eyebrow. Um, just think Dwayne the Rock Johnson and you probably got it. So anyway, so last year, um, I did a quick poll on this with my kids, and this was the breakdown of what we ended up getting. Okay. Um, I had 14 students who could do the evil eyebrow, 10 who couldn't. I had 16 who could do the taco tongue, 8 who couldn't. And then out of that, 10 of them could do both. Six could do yes to the taco tongue, not the evil eyebrow, no to the taco tongue, et cetera, et cetera. So what we're going to do is we're going to use that data and make what's called a Venn diagram. And that's what's over here. This is this. So you end up getting two different circles, and the two circles are actually you can have three or four. Each circle represents a characteristic or an attribute. So everybody in this circle over here, is going to be the total of people who can do taco tongue, which would be this group right here. So these two points have to add up to be 16. This one over here has to be everybody who can do evil eyebrows. So that means that both of these two people numbers have to add up to become 14. The people in the middle are both in the purple and the green circle, so therefore they have to be the ones who do both. So those people are going to be right there. So this would be end up being 10. Now I have, these people can do evil eye, they can do the taco tongue, but they can't do the evil eyebrow. So there's six. And so there's my 16 total there. So I've got 10 here. I need four who can do the evil eyebrow, but not the taco tongue. And that goes there. So the question is, where does this four go? Those are people who can't do the taco tongue and can't do the evil eyebrow, so that means that they're outside of both of those circles, and those are going to be over here. Okay? So, let's see, taco tongue, I did like this. And evil eyebrow was like this. So those are kind of how those things all match up. All right? Um, <clears throat> pardon me. So then what ends up happening here is that you can do all sorts of things. So like here, there's no evil eyebrow. Okay, well, that's no evil eyebrow, no evil eyebrow, so that's 10. Okay, you can mess around with that. This very nicely does what this two-way table over here, and that's what this is. So a two-way table. Lace it out very nicely. And so again, it depends upon how you, you're more of a visual learner. You like just everything nice and neat. There's not really one way or another. These you often see in now these t-shirts where it's kind of like, you know, the different fandoms or the different things and go from there. So if you search for a funny Venn diagram, you'll, I'm sure you'll find some like that. So now what we're going to end up doing is we're going to ask what probabilities are. Now, so now again, remember probabilities are the number of favorable over the number of possible the total number. So here, yes can taco tongue. So this is a student from the class. So if we pick one, what's the probability that they can taco tongue? Well, how many kids can taco tongue? We have a total of 16 taco tongues out of the 24. Usually it's a good idea to leave the fraction like this because then you can get a sense of how big the scale is. If you were to reduce that down to two thirds, is it wrong? Depending upon the context, yes, to be honest. Um, so I just usually say leave it as such. Probability that there's no taco tongue. Well, how many no taco tonguers are there? Eight. So that's going to be eight out of 24. Now you could also do it over here. Here's my taco tongue. I've got four combined here. So that's or four and four. That's eight. Um, what's the possibility of evil eyebrows? Evil eyebrows here. I've got a total of 14 inside the evil eyebrow circle. So I get that. No evil eyebrows. That's going to be the 10. Or again, you could say no evil eyebrows. My total is 10. All right. What's the probability that yes, taco tongue, and yes, evil eyebrow? Ooh. So yes, taco tongue, yes, evil eyebrow. That's two. 
So that's 10, so that's going to be 10 out of 24. What's the probability that we get evil eyebrow and no taco tongue? So that would be what? Evil eyebrow, but no taco tongue. So that would be in that 4 out of 24. Yes, taco tongue and no evil eyebrow. Yes, taco tongue, no evil eyebrow. So this is evil. So I'm going to go for those six. And then leftovers. Sorry. Everybody else is the no taco tongue, no evil eyebrow setup. And that's four out of 24. That's usually pretty easy. And actually, to be honest, we teach our algebra kids here at West Chicago up to that. Because it's usually pretty easy to kind of get a sense of where things are going. We're going to talk about what happens when it gets a little messier. Okay, so what is the probability of yes to evil eyebrows? Yes to evil eyebrows. Evil eyebrows was what, 14 out of 24. It's probably like no evil eyebrows. That was 10 out of 24. Okay, so what's the probability that you get an evil, that you pick somebody who either has an evil eyebrow or doesn't have an evil eyebrow? Okay, that is going to be 24 out of 24. And sure enough, that adds up to be the probability of yes of evil eyebrows and no evil eyebrows. Now the setup for this is the following. You are going to write it down as this. What's the probability of A or B? This, ask yourself yes, are those mutually exclusive? Yeah, because you can't have an evil eyebrow and not have an evil eyebrow at the same time. So these are mutually exclusive. So if it's mutually exclusive, you can just add these together. So P of A of A or B is equal to your probability of A plus the probability of B. Ta-da! So let's check the next one. Suppose we randomly choose a student from the class. What's the following probabilities? What's the probability of getting a taco tongue? The probability of taco tongue we said was 16 out of 14. Actually, 16 out of 24, my apologies. Evil eyebrow, what's the probability of getting an evil eyebrow? Evil eyebrow, 14 out of 24. So what's the probability of taco tongue, yes to taco tongue and yes to evil eyebrow? All right, so probability of A or B. So let's see, that'd be 16 out of 24 plus 14 out of 24 which would equal 30 out of 24. Yeah, exactly, that doesn't make any sense. So, what's the problem here? Can somebody be part of both of these groups? Well, yeah, okay. So these are called not mutually exclusive. Because that means there's overlap. So notice here. We're counting in the 16, in the 16 taco tongue people, that's everybody in this circle. And we're counting everybody in this circle for my evil eyebrows. Wait a second. This is getting counted, the 10's being counted twice. So what you end up having to do then is that we need to subtract off our 10 out of 24. And so we're going to end up getting an answer of 20 out of 24. So that's going to equal probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. Okay, This is your general addition formula, which we'll formalize here in a second. But that will work for everything. Because if they're, not mutu if they're mutually exclusive, this part over here is going to be zero. So I have some people who just go through and do that. Some people also ask, well, can't I just go up here and take everybody minus this? And yeah, that's the complement rule that we ended up talking about yesterday. So, you know, there's a whole bunch of different ways you can do it, but it's good to be familiar with everything that's going on. So that's it. My time's up. I need to run to class. We will see you in a few minutes.